Good morning, everybody. Anyways, we're going to the doctor for Linnea to get her first set of vaccinations. I don't know if she's getting a shot because if I heard it correctly, now granted last time we were at the doctor, I had two very unhappy children. So it was very hard for me to listen, but she said it was a schluck impfung, which means that you would drink it. So, but I don't think we had anything like that with Callum. I think it's against rotavirus today. That's what she's old enough to get. She's still too young for most everything else. And um, yeah, so here we go. Yeah, we're going in a tunnel. Woo! Okay, we are back home and everything went really, really, really well. Uh, I've, I've got to clean up. But I'm doing, I'm working on stuff in the kitchen right now. The vaccination went really well. It was just, um, well, it was for rotavirus. And she, it was a, it was one that you swallow. So Linnea slept most, pretty much the whole, the whole way through. And, and she did really well. So I am quite pleased with that. Now we're back home. I'm working on some housework because tomorrow we've got people coming again to look at the apartment. Hopefully tomorrow is the last day. Things are just happening so quickly now, and that was what I was afraid of. I was honestly a little afraid because we didn't have anything going on for so long with the move on either front, here or in London. And now, um, oh, forgot some. Now, everything's just happening, and I feel like every day Roman and I are answering 90,000 emails and dealing with just everything. It was a little sad today because we were talking to Callum's doctor and she said, um, she was talking about how we were leaving the practice and I just, it, it made me realize that there are people that are in your life and you don't realize how significant they are until your time with them kind of comes to a close. So, you know, even Callum and Linnea's pediatrician whom I mean, we never hung out. We're not best friends. But she, obviously, and well, and the male doctor that's there as well, they've, they've been key in, in everything here with, with my kids. So it's just, again, another one of those reminders that oh, it's time to say goodbye. I love this little outfit. It's just so cute. It's this little black shirt, black and white shirt. <laughs> And her little black, little black leggings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then she's got a little black headband on. <laughs> it's got a little, a little bow on it. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> you feeling okay? You feeling okay from your vaccination? Hmm. We have just a few things that we need to watch out for. Yeah. Yeah, we just have to make sure that you stay healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, baby. Mm -hmm. I just love her so much. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Man, it makes it all worthwhile when she smiles. Yeah. Yeah. Say hi, everybody. Say hi, everybody. You talking? You talking? What do you want to say? What do you want to say? Hmm? With chunky little cheeks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You want to play with your clown? Look. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, clown friend. Clown friend.
I've gotten a few questions about how I get both kids down for a nap. And really, I have no advice. It's just divide and conquer. And usually what we do is Linnea and I read stories with Callum in the bed. And we lay there until he falls asleep. And then once he's asleep, I move her into her bed. And it's just so sweet. It's the sweetest thing in the world. I'm just letting them lay there together for a little bit before I move her because I think it's good for them. I think it's really good for their little their little sibling bond. He loves her. He's crazy about her. And and she loves him too, as much as a newborn baby can. And um, I have no doubt that they're going to be best buds because they already are. They love each other so much. And like I said, normally I just, once he's asleep, then I move her into her room, her bed. But I kind of just want to sit and watch them for a little bit, especially with everything going on in the world. I just, this is what's good. You know, this is what, this is what life is about. And as much evil exists in this world, oh, the beauty is so much bigger and so much stronger and absolutely worth fighting for. So I just, I just want to sit and take it all in, watch my babies for a little bit. Today has been a very productive day. Um, I just got back from the doctor. I went to go get a little bit of a checkup for my lungs because I've been like coughing and coughing and coughing and I must be getting better because the doctor listened to my lungs and was like, you sound totally fine. <laughs> and I thought, okay, I know that I've been coughing like crazy the past few days, so what's going on? Um, and the other thing that I did was I got my booster shots, with, uh, which is like whooping cough and diphtheria and tetanus. So, um, you know, the, the usual three. You were such a good girl for mommy's doctor's appointment. You slept through the whole thing. Yeah, you slept through the whole thing. You see the camera? Oh, she's so excited. You so excited. You so excited. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. You and I both had our doctor's appointments today, huh? Yes, we did. Tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How come whenever I move the camera down, you stop kicking? Why is that? Why is that? Linnea! <laughs> she, she kick, 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 kicks like crazy, and then as soon as I put the camera on her leg, she stops. <laughs> Are you playing games, you little messer? <laughs> there we go! <laughs> That was not it. You little messer. You little messer. You're just messing with mommy. You're just messing with mommy, huh? You little messer. <laughs> oh, I love you. Here's the clown. Here's the ring. Lachen ring. Clown. Oh, oh, okay. Clown ring. Pop and his children. Hey. Whoa! Kick. Hey! Kick! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> He's got a good little throw. Boy! This is what I'm working on, cleaning up all of this from the day. I've got his toys cleaned up for the most part. No baby bed can clean up. No. Oh. She makes the sweetest little sounds. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Both kids are asleep in bed, and so I'm going to sit in the kitchen, well, stand, and get some um, cleaning done in here for the night. And uh, I'm thinking about eating a banana because <laughs> they look really good over here on the counter. We're a little bummed um, just because we found this perfect house, like perfect house, great area, 
decent price. It has just everything that we could possibly want in, in a home in London. Well, <laughs> it's about mm, 100 euros. It's about 100 pounds more than we would like to spend. And um, unfortunately, the landlord won't hold the, uh, they won't hold the house open because uh, the landlord obviously wants to rent it starting the beginning of July and we um, aren't, we're not moving in that quickly. It was the perfect house. It really, really was. I, I looked at the pictures today and I thought, oh my gosh, that's, that's the one. That's absolutely the one. And unfortunately it's not. I'm just a little nervous because there are a lot of houses that we see and maybe one or two of them really stands out as being a really, really good option for us. And even the ones that are good, we haven't really found like the perfect house. There's always been something that's, that stopped it. Maybe the house is really great, but there's no yard or we love the house. We love the yard, but it doesn't have a bathtub, which we really want to bathe the kids in. And you know, just things like that. And this house just had everything, every single thing we could possibly want. And I think what really got to me is that it was in a safe area. It was safe. It's so safe. And um, the crime and everything was just really low compared to other areas that we've looked at or that we've seen houses in. So it's just, it's so hard. This is really hard because obviously we want to make a really good decision. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the kitchen. It's just messy, and as you can see, we have dishes and things that need to be done and counters that need to be scrubbed because tomorrow's gonna be a busy day too. The good news is that all of the appointments that we had for this apartment tomorrow of people that were coming to view this apartment, um, the realtor who's handling this apartment, he went ahead and canceled those appointments because he's pretty confident that he's found somebody to rent it out of the, the people who have already seen it. So that's really good because then that means we don't have to get the apartment ready for people to come view it. We can just sort of have a normal day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. We love you. Bye.